Part 1. White Clouds. Blue Sea Moon. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. As the sun grows stronger and the nights grow ever shorter, the Blue Sea Star returns to the sky once more. Believed to be the goddess's home, her followers look to the star and commence celebrations of her rebirth. On the grounds of Garig Mach Monastery, a grand ceremony is held in honor of this much anticipated event. Every true follower of the Church of Saros is sure to be in attendance. Thanks. Honestly, what do they all take me for? I'm fine. Perfectly and completely fine. It's hardly different from daytime. I'm not scared. Professor? Is that you? Oh, well, <laughs> good evening! something in the dining hall so I'm on my way to fetch it but you don't need to come with me or anything like that I'm fine on my own really you weren't oh apologies for making an assumption the truth is everyone I come across asks if I'd like some company they all seem to think I'll be scared wandering alone at night so rude and presumptuous, you know. I'm perfectly capable of being on my own. Hey, Professor, wait! I, um, well, I thought it might be nice to walk and talk together to the dining hall, shall we? To be abundantly clear, this has nothing to do with my non-existent fear of ghosts. Are you on patrol? You should probably patrol on over to the dining hall then. Wonderful. After all, there's lots of very important food stored there. Do 
you mind, um, filling the void with some chatter? Some find silence to be a bit unsettling, after all. Okay, I confess. I am scared of ghosts. The monastery is unnerving to me at night. So, can we talk about something, please? Anything. I've noticed for quite some time now, you treat all your students equally, don't you? You've never treated me differently simply because I'm younger than the others. And I've always appreciated that. Isn't it rather obvious? I'm roughly two to three years younger than the rest of the class. Have you just not been paying close enough attention to those you teach? That's poor form for a professor. Oh, there! I found what I was looking for. Well, I'd better be on my way now. Good night! Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. Come to think of it, you were originally a mercenary, weren't you? I'm sure you've traveled all over Fodlin. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. Huh, you think so? But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. I believe you. I can imagine. Oh! I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. Lug and the Maiden of Wind. It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Lug is the King of Lions. This book is full of his exciting adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. What the? Somebody catch that thief. Cut him in half like my prices. Please, calm down, ma'am. You calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the monastery, Professor. I'll take care of everything here. fun today. Of course, you want to see me again, yes? Uh, of course. I'd love to, Dorothea. <laughs> well, until we meet again. Oh, hello, Professor. Were you watching that? You look like you have something to say, Professor. Look, I know what I'm doing. My claim as a diva won't last forever, after all. I must look to the future. As a man, you may not feel so rushed about these things, but I know my beauty will eventually fade. I wish I could be that easygoing. Anyway, I'm not just playing games with these boys. This is for my future. You have no right to object. I very much want to find a good partner here at the Academy. Someone who will take care of me for the rest of my life. Uh, 
I'm glad you understand. Not everyone appreciates the necessity of taking the initiative while you're still in your prime. Or are you just saying that? Anyway, I value your opinion, Professor, but I won't have you interfering with my life plans. Unless you'd like to take care of me into my old age. That'd be something, eh? How about it, Professor? I wasn't... <laughs> you aren't being serious, are you? I was just teasing. Or did you really just consider spending your whole life with me? If you did, that... <laughs> that actually makes me... It makes me happy. I had no idea you might look at me that way. You've gotten awfully quiet. You might even be blushing a bit. Have I embarrassed you? If so, I'm very, very sorry. I should be going anyway. I'll see you later, Professor. <laughs> Okay, so our task this moon is to patrol and guard the monastery in support of the knights, who are busy trying to stop an assassination plot. Here's the thing. I don't think the bad guys are really trying to assassinate the Archbishop. Precisely. That secret note with the assassination plot on it? There's just no way that was real. People don't just carry around secret notes. Someone wanted us to find it. You really think the assassination plot is just a distraction? Oh yeah, that makes complete sense. But then, what are they really after? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so worried. Let's see, it probably involves somewhere that will be empty during the Rite of Rebirth, yeah? Since the ceremony is at the Goddess Tower, it follows that everywhere else at the Academy will be severely understaffed. Do you think they're after the Church's donation money? I hear noble families tend to donate quite generously. My bet's on the dining hall. It's a treasure trove of delicious food. Makes me angry just thinking about them getting their grubby hands on it. Let's split up and look around. I'll keep an eye on the reception hall. You should get in some training if you have the time, Hilda. There's a good chance we'll have to fight. Uh, well, I'm not the only one who needs to train here. It's not right to single me out like that. A secret meeting, Professor? Oh, we haven't been introduced. I am Shamir. Shamir is one of the Knights of Saros, and that little go-getter there is... I work for Lady Rhea, and I'm Shamir's apprentice. Oh, the name's Cyril. Yep, she's teaching me about the bow and the sword and all kinds of stuff. I've got to protect Lady Rhea, so that's why I've got to learn all I can from Shamir. Cyril adores Rhea. That aside, if you need anything, ask. <sighs> that's the third time this month. Well, that's that. Father never relents. Oh, Professor! Hello! Did you need something? Well, um, that is... I was just tossing out something I have no need of. It's important to keep our spaces clean, after all. You'd do well to remember that too, Professor. A clean space makes for a clean mind, or some such. Getting rid of things you have no need for is the first step to managing one's belongings in an economical way. While I'd love to help, I don't want people getting the wrong idea with me being alone in your room. Despite my family's nobility, we've never been particularly wealthy. So my father raised me to be conservative with my resources, paring down when necessary. He also encouraged me to keep my living spaces immaculate. So the two go hand in hand, I suppose. I think he'd be happy to hear you say that. Oh, uh, just a scrap of paper. It was already written on, so no good for note-taking. And obviously, I can't use it to clean my lance. So I tossed it. No need to hang on to inconsequential things, you know. Professor, did you come to check on me for any particular reason? Oh, 
well, if there's nothing important, I'll be on my way then. I still have some cleaning to take care of, after all. Talk to you later, Professor. <laughs> Actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated studying. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance? A true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation in Elmira has settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir the Undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my brother all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulated him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Fodlin. That's not far from the truth, you know. Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet lately? They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Fodlin a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. I'm privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me any day. My hand, my heart, even my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, you'll have to bear yours as well. <laughs> The water's supposed to be this cold. God, my head slipped again. Hey, what's that noise? What are you doing? Sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Another fine mess I've gotten myself into. What happened, Claude? You're soaked. The student whose turn it was to do the dishes today was ill, so I volunteered to take his place. The dining hall lady was on my case the whole time for breaking plates and getting water everywhere. Actually, not everywhere, mostly on myself. It was just one big mess. It wore me right out, too. I could really use a nap about now. <laughs> you might be a noble with a fancy bloodline, but you sure don't act the part. Being noble or common doesn't have anything to do with washing dishes. Oh, I dare say most nobles would refuse to do it. But hey, I prefer it your way. You don't act like you're better than everyone. <laughs> I'm honored that you acknowledge my greatness. And I'm rather fond of your blunt way of praising a person's strengths, too. Really? To be honest, I don't actually trust my own ability to read people. I like to look for the good in them, but that doesn't always mean it's really there. I mean, you seem like a good person, but your heart could be black for all I know. You say you can't figure people out, but what you said just now was pretty shrewd. It's wise not to trust appearances alone. I'll keep that in mind. Though, I'm not sure I should be taking advice from someone covered in dish suds. <laughs> oh. yeah, I see your point. Yes! Time for food! Hey, Ignatz! Is this seat taken? Oh, hey, Raphael. I'm done eating, so you can sit here if you like. Really? 
but there's still food on your plate. Uh, it's fine. I'm not that hungry. Anyway, I guess I'll be heading off. Oh, okay. Hey, Ignatz! Want to train with me? Uh, oh my, that equipment's looking rusty. Let me fetch some oil. What's the matter? It always looks like that. Come on, we'll take care of it later. No, you have to do it as soon as you notice. There's oil in the warehouse. I'll be right back. Hey, Ignatz! Uh, hello, Raphael. Are you busy? I need to talk to you. No, uh, that's... Oh, almost forgot. It's time to return this book to the library. I'll just... Hey, 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 hold up. Are you seriously going to keep running away from me? What? No, I'm not running. Yes, you are. Every time I try to talk to you, you make up some excuse and run. What's going on? You were a lot friendlier to me when we were kids. You were always so excited to show me all the neat stuff you had whenever I came to visit. We'd play hide-and-seek with my little sis, draw pictures, and do other fun stuff, too. Remember all that? Things... can't be the way they were. It's regrettable, but it's the truth. Regrettable? What's there to regret? I mean... you know... what happened to your parents. My parents are the reason your parents died. What are you talking about? My parents died in an accident while traveling for work. Maybe so, but they were taking over for mine. Because they had other business that day and couldn't go themselves. So, they recommended yours to fill in for them. Huh. I didn't know that. But, what does that have to do with our friendship? No, but see... I... Oh, I see. But we're done talking about this. You gotta stop beating yourself up over it. It was an accident. He's just putting on a brave face. No one is that forgiving. Being kicked must have hurt, didn't it, Norte? Did they think you won't gallop unless you're in pain? It must be difficult letting those brutes ride you. Hey, Marianne. What are you up to? Nothing. Really? I was sure I heard you talking to someone. By the way, are you free right now? Is there something you need? I was about to go buy towels and soap, but the girls saddled me with all these specific requests. They want it all to look cute or to smell a certain way, but all that's just nonsense to me. I've always made my own towels out of old scraps and soap from used cooking oil. I've never given it much thought beyond that. Oh. But I've noticed you've got some really nice things. So you have an eye for that stuff, right? Obviously, I give you all the credit, and I'm sure everyone would be really grateful for your help. No, no. I don't deserve that kind of praise. Really? I don't think that's true. Come on, you'll be doing me a big favor. My adoptive father tells me I shouldn't stray too far from the monastery. That's nonsense. You've got to get some fresh air now and again. I should stay. Besides, I wouldn't be much help. I don't think anyone would like whatever I pick out anyway. It would all go to waste. And I'm sure that having me around would just cause you misfortune, Leonie. Are you serious? I should stay here by myself. Now, hold on just a second. You'll cause me misfortune? What kind of backwards talk is that? If you really don't want me around, then at least come out and say it straight. I'm sorry for the unwelcome invitation. Don't worry, I won't make the same mistake again.
Whatever the mission, we'll handle it. Actually passed? Perfect comprehension. A hero's relic. So, the stone within the sword, a glow of red. Hm? Oh, it is nothing. How's that? You spend too much time roaming the monastery. If you're looking for something, try less aimless wandering. Sure. It's none of my business anyway. I'm just here to take care of enemies who get too close. You're skilled. Why won't you battle me? rebellion may have been quelled, but the unrest in Fargus isn't dying down anytime soon. The Boar Prince should hurry up and claim the throne, rather than letting old customs hold him back.
now is, um, well, right now is okay, I guess. If you, uh, want to chat. A little. Hey, I get hungry sometimes. Like anyone else. What? Eating at night is bad for you. <laughs> There's no way that's true. Wait, really? terrible if the greenhouse was targeted. The plants in here are incredibly valuable. This place contains the heart of Garrett Mach's 995 year history. So many beautiful flowers, plants that can save or end lives. They are all my precious children. Excuse me, Professor? I just wanted to let you know that Lady Rhea is always real concerned with you. She expects great things, I think. Please don't let her down, okay? I hope you're not just saying that. Claude's word for it? If so, I doubt anything will come of this. It is all probably just some sort of distasteful joke. I find it highly unlikely that anyone would be foolish enough to barge in here and cause a disturbance. Hope you're well. As for me, I had a date with a splendid specimen of a knight. But now he's suddenly not in the mood to see me again. I blame all these rumors of a deathly figure showing up in town. Such an uproar must have, beyond reason, drawn his attention away from me. Professor, nothing to report. The goddess's rite of rebirth is this month, right? The monastery gates will be thrown wide open on that day. I'll be working as a guide. I hope I get to guide some lovely ladies around. <laughs>
Hey, Professor. How's it going? I'd love to... Hey, how about a favor? Hello. So... You can't be serious. Oh. <sighs> I've heard talk of students wandering the monastery late at night. They wouldn't happen to be from your class, would they? Please keep your students in line, Professor. Kids these days. Hmm. Setting fire to the stables to distract everyone. To cause a commotion. It is the oldest trick in the book. But I cannot shake the thought that our enemies may attempt it. I will stand guard and watch over the stable. And the knight's horses. They are truly magnificent. Please, do me a favor. of assassination plots. It brings back dark memories I prefer to keep buried. I doubt there is any correlation, and yet... Ah, it is nothing. I am sorry for allowing my mind to wander. My focus should be solely on guarding the monastery right now. fought alongside Catherine. I would wager that her power exceeded your expectations. Had you the chance to witness her relic? Thunderbrand, glowing red. That glow is a sure sign that her blood contains a crest that harmonizes with that hero's relic. Professor, I was just reading this letter from my father. Do you know him? He's a pretty big deal in the Empire. He only writes to ask how my training's going, or how many monsters I've killed. Stuff like that. Hey, I got a favor to ask. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. I owe you one, Professor. Speaking of which, hmm, Professor Yuritsa seems very familiar to me, but I don't recognize his name. I guess the resemblance could be coincidental. Yes. Stop a murdering is my specialness. Uh, no, my specialty. I will show my best work. So, yeah. I bet the enemy is using this assassination nonsense just to sneak in and raid the pantry. What do you think, Professor? Oh, I'm right, all right. My animal instinct is telling me that the enemy is after our best meats. Professor, is it true you got caught in the fighting? I'm so thankful you made it out alive. I don't know what we would do if we lost you. Have you been tasked with guarding the monastery as well? 
such a stir over a single letter. But I suppose the Archbishop's safety is too important to risk. The monks declined my offer of assistance. They said that no one from Dusker is to be trusted, especially now. Given the circumstances, I cannot fault them. our foe's intentions, we need information. Lots of it. Or any, at the least. For now, try going around the monastery and looking for suspicious locations. You should also try chatting folks up to see if they know anything. Once we've got things narrowed down, let's meet up and compare notes. Can I ask you a favor? Can I ask you a favor? There were forces opposing the church beyond Lord Lonato. I never thought such forces could exist in this world. I suppose that may be true. I don't know who's to blame for all this commotion, but it's frankly a huge inconvenience. With everyone stuck on guard duty, our study and training time has been drastically reduced. Indeed. For now, let's do all we can to find and dispose of our enemy. I was thinking... Have you heard of the War of the Eagle and Lion? It was the battle that won the kingdom its independence from the Empire. Even the Church of Saros had no choice but to recognize the courage of Lug, the King of Lions who emerged victorious. The Church awarded him a crown and the right to govern the Fargus region, backing him in his bid to found the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. In return, Lug agreed to make the Church of Saros the religion of his territory, and permitted them to publicly proselytize across the kingdom. In the 400 years since, the Church and the Kingdom have continued to maintain very close relations. Something in the monastery that someone might go after? There's so much here, I couldn't possibly name just one. Even this here kitchen contains precious wares, wine bottles from centuries past and the like. I hear that stuff is fancy, but not very drinkable. I doubt anyone would go to the trouble of stealing it. Well, What's the matter? You're running all over creation. Ah. You don't believe Lady Rhea is the real target, do you? Even so, the Knights have their orders. We can't abandon our duty to guard Lady Rhea. The Goddess's Rite of Rebirth is an important event for the Church of Saros. They say it's the day when the Goddess will return to walk among us. Not too likely, if you ask me. Uh, best if you keep that to yourself. that death himself has been appearing in Garag Mach. They say he appears every night and kidnaps folks. I wonder what happens to them. Sleepy. So sleepy. Too sleepy. I found an interesting book in the library. Got so caught up reading it, I forgot to sleep. Interesting discovery, though. The coffins of the four saints in the sanctum each have their crests carved into them. I'll need to find a way down there to get a look. Okay. 
Are we really just taking Claude's word for it? If so, I find it high. How kind of you. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. Hmm, I don't recall. How kind of you. I will have to repay you sometime. the spirits of all the people of Fodlin. We cannot allow her to come to any harm. <laughs> I've been in town procuring some supplies for Flame. No, but do not concern yourself for my safety. I am very much stronger than I appear. I have something to ask of you. I'm in charge of managing all records for the Golden Deer House. Oh, but I don't have any information of note right now. Go ahead and continue your investigation and put a little extra effort into it, please. No classes on a festival day. I thought I'd get to spend all day relaxing in the company of some lovely ladies. But now this mess has happened. Hey, Professor. I know there's talk of an assassination attempt, but do you really think they'll do it on the day of the Rite of Rebirth? I feel like security would be looser some other time. Is there some reason why it has to happen on that day? Really? Speaking of... Can you imagine the Archbishop being murdered? I prefer not to consider such a gruesome scenario. Awfully calm, aren't you? I wonder what it takes to rile you up. Listen, the goddess's home is in the sky. She lives on a bright and shining star. But in the spring, you can't see that star. That means she can't protect Fodlin. That's why we all celebrate the day when her star returns to the sky. That's the day of the Rite of Rebirth. See? See? I've been studying. I know just about everything. That reminds me. People seem to think that all the Knights of Seros are equal. But that isn't quite so. There are many distinguishing ranks within the Order. For example, there are squires who are training to become knights, as well as full knights, like myself. Oh, and then we have the holy knights, such as Catherine. Those are the knights that can wield a hero's relic.
possible. I have a thought. Have you visited the Goddess Tower? It's a sacred place used for rituals and the like. In general, students aren't allowed entry. But as you'd expect, that rule just excites their curiosity. <laughs> Some have even tried sneaking in. Well, at least for this month, that kind of behavior is totally unthinkable. We have a lot more security, what with the goddess's right of rebirth coming up. Let's see. The monastery's so big. How can we narrow down the list of possible targets? The only places I can think of are the vault and the library and... I guess that's it. May I say? You're kidding. Hello there! I can't stop thinking about Lenato. I'm sorry, Professor. I know this isn't the time, but... I just can't get past it. Uh, thank you. No matter what happens, I promise you I'll do my part. Right. I'm sorry. Huh? You're inviting me to join your class? I'm really flattered, honestly. But I still have a lot left to learn in my current one. Professor. Professor. I am afraid I have acted a bit childishly toward my brother recently. Given the circumstances, I requested that he provide me with some candies. <laughs> Silly of me, really. The timing was improper, and I regret it very much now. Oh, but more importantly, this place is off-limits, Professor. It is only open to the public on the day of the Goddess's Rite of Rebirth. Here's an idea. On the day of the Rite, the monastery will be open to the public, including the Holy Mausoleum. The Holy Mausoleum is where the tomb of the Divine Saros lies. There she slumbers, eternally. That's pretty much all that's in there. Just an ancient coffin. It's sealed with a powerful magic, to protect against would-be grave robbers. Professor. Professor. okay, but I should really have a cute dance to go along with it. Professor, let me sing for you. Do you not like my voice? It would make a Pegasus dance with joy. Hello there. Well, about 20 or so years ago, there was a big fire in Garrig Mach. On that day, Captain Geralt went missing. Everyone thought he was dead. It never occurred to me that he might actually have survived. The truly strange part is that, in all those years, he hasn't changed a bit. Let's 
Pardon me. Professor? Professor? Do you know what this room is? It is the church's treasure vault. I say treasure, but I do not mean silver and gold and jewels. It mostly contains weapons, artifacts, and the like. Anything that would cause too great a stir, should it be stolen? No. The church knows better than to store anything too valuable in such an accessible location. assists the Archbishop. Cyril, I believe? I hear he's originally from a foreign land to the east called Almyra. I know he's still only a child, but I do wonder about his true intentions. Hmm. There are numerous books in this library that you cannot find anywhere else. But once you are here, you can read them easily enough. I doubt someone would go to the trouble of stealing one. Sometimes Seteth will dispose of books that are deemed inappropriate for the monastery, but that's about it. In a way, I suppose that makes those particular volumes more valuable, right? Donations to the monastery aren't actually kept here. That means the enemy isn't likely to be interested in money. We should turn our attention elsewhere. Then again, I guess some of the plants in the greenhouse could sell for a lot. But that can't really be it, can it? story. However, an assassination attempt on Lady Rhea is doomed to fail. Pardon? You think the goal may be different than simple assassination? Intriguing. I suppose the priceless objects in this room could perhaps draw thieves. However, there's no one but me who could make use of them. Keep your distance. In this nervous state, I might just cut you down. <laughs> oh, come on, I'm only kidding. Oh, this is mine. Thanks, I'm glad to have it back. Need something, Professor? I'm on an important mission for Lady Rhea. 
Until that's done, I can't offer any help. Last. Those Abyssian idiots. All they ever do is cause trouble. We'd best purge the entire underbelly of Garrett Mock. I am grateful. <laughs> Might you have come looking for me because you were worried about my safety? I'm quite all right, but your concern means a great deal. <laughs> yes, that is surely mine. I appreciate you bringing this to me. values above all else and on the day of the right it'll be open to the public making it easier than ever to get inside that's got to be it right bullseye we don't know the enemy's intentions not yet but our best bet is that their target will be the holy mausoleum There's more food than I can eat. Uh, professor, Raphael, you're welcome to have some of mine. Don't listen to him, Professor. Ignatz gets all dizzy if he doesn't eat enough. Even so, the goddess, they said not to. Where 
never did this turn up. Thank you for getting it back to me. Oh. Hmm. It, it, I will stay. It, it, I will stand. Oh, I was looking for this. Thank you so much. In general, but, well, we have a lot. Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks, I owe you. I learned a lot from this. I'm surprised I have such power. a lot from this. But... Talent like this hidden away. You really think I'm that great? It's that was. Go figure. I didn't know I had it in me.
I see. Professor, are you here to train? I knew it! Gotta train daily. Legs, back, chest, arms, abs. Gotta work them all, right? I just finished training, and I feel great. Check me out! Are my muscles bulging? Another day of training, and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles mean strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just, I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. And training my brain instead of my body makes me sleepy. What if I start training twice as hard? Then I should only have to study half as much, right? You really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck, Professor. For my training and for my studies. <laughs> Music speaks to the heart. It's more powerful than any weapon. What's the point of singing practice? It's not going to make me stronger. I'm honored that you invited me. You know about my favorite tea. I am moved. I am ever so grateful. Have some, Professor. Huh?
lively places are my favorite. I like the monastery because there are always so many people bustling about. <laughs> right, you're right. Today. Are you feeling all right? Oh. Have some, Professor. It is a different style from everyone's uniforms, but I do love the patterning on the hem. That tea was very delicious. Please take care, Professor. Get to work. I'm ready. Well, we did it. <sighs> yeah, I've got this down. I'm beginning to understand. Better than before. I think I've got the hang of it. I think it's coming along. Not as hard as I thought. Yes, that's the last of them. Thank you, Marianne. Just when I thought all the laundry was dry, the wind got stronger, and... By the time I realized what was happening, there were clothes dancing across the sky. That must have been frustrating to watch. I didn't imagine they would float all the way to the stables. Thanks again for helping me pick them up. It was no trouble. They landed right at my feet. Well, now I can hang it all back up before sunset. Everything should be dry by the day's end. All right, I should get to... Uh, ah! Are you all right? <laughs> uh-huh. The hamper's just a little heavier than it looks. Do you think you could give me a hand? Whew, we got here just in time. Thanks for the help hanging everything up. It was nothing. Huh. What is it? I'm sorry. I know I'm not much fun to be around. I'm not very good at small talk either. Oh no, that's all right. After all, just look over there. Huh? Oh, the flowers are lovely. They were mere buds until just the other day. Now look at those gorgeous blooms. How wonderful. If we'd been chatting away, we might never have noticed them. Sure, the laundry was an ordeal, but at least there was a silver lining. Oh, Professor, here's the map you... Well, there's always next time, I suppose. Hey, Ignatz! Didn't you have something to talk to the professor about? Oh, no, nothing urgent. You didn't cut short your conversation because of me, did you? Come on, do I seem like the type to do that? No, I just had a couple of questions about the bows. We're done now, so I thought I'd come and tell you. The bows? Is something wrong with them? Lots of them have come in for repairs lately, so I switched out some of the strings for stronger ones. They've been breaking less, but now they're harder to draw. 
Ah, I see. I suppose people would prefer if you went back to the lighter bowstrings. Maybe. If the only issue was the draw weight, I'd just tell people to get stronger arms. But the real problem is that you can't shoot as fast. The arrows also fly too far now. I can see how slower shooting is a drawback, but the arrows flying farther, that actually sounds like a good thing. Sure, on open planes, but up close you lose accuracy. That's why I thought it might be good to use different bowstrings for different scenarios. I wanted the professor's opinion about that. Oh, good point. You know a lot about bows, don't you? Guess I do. I grew up in a hunting village, so I've been around them my whole life. I wouldn't say I'm necessarily better than anyone, but at least I know what I'm doing. And you? Do you have something you're really good at? <laughs> Me? Oh no, I, I don't think so. Well, I'm sure you'll find your thing someday. I hope so. It's not luck, it's fate. Sorry, but victory is mine. Sorry, but victory is mine. That's the golden deer for you. Sorry, but victory is mine. I'm glad I asked you.
What? Well done. You have my thanks. In general, but well, we have a lot. The glory of progress. Looks delicious. Goddess, forgive me. I've just got to indulge. That smell, mm, it's amazing. My fave, in fact. Do you like it too?
I get it now. No, I just got lucky. I... I... Professor. Okay, I've decided on the composition. That's right, the composition for my next paint. Wait, Professor? How long have you been standing there? You haven't been watching me, have you? Uh, no, I misspoke. Did I say painting? I meant to say, uh... Well, I've thought for a while that it might be nice to paint the scenery here. The contours of that tree set against the stark shapes of the faraway peaks. Of course, I only paint after I've finished my chores. I'd never put my art before my responsibilities. My studies are paramount. I shall always uphold my duties as a student of the Officer's Academy. Whereas art is... a hobby of mine, you might say. Everyone has hobbies, right? I'm sure you have one. Oh! Well, perhaps it's different for you, Professor. But it's perfectly normal for people to have hobbies. Reading, for instance, or fishing, or taking midday naps. For me, it's making art. Hobbies are healthy. They're a good way of relieving stress. You might consider taking up a hobby, Professor. Anything to clear your mind. Think about it. It's much easier to focus if you're feeling refreshed. There isn't a rule against hobbies, is there? If you tell me to stop, I'll stop. I shall never again put brush to canvas. Really? It's okay for me to paint? Well, I mean, if you're sure. But really, it's nothing more than a little diversion. A frivolous pastime. Um, I think I ought to go back to my quarters now. If it's all the same to you. <laughs> Are you training too? I was just about to finish up, but if you want to join in, I can stick around a while longer. Oh no, it's fine. Just do your thing. Don't mind me. Come on, don't be shy. Phew. I'm 
beat, but we're finally done. I was already training when you got here, and I finished right alongside you. Guess I outlasted you, huh? Speak for yourself. I'm always looking to improve. By the way, Professor, something I wanted to ask. Are you really Captain Gerald's kid? That's a pretty detached tone to take about your own family. What's your opinion of him, then? You must look up to him, at least. Hmm. It doesn't sound like you really appreciate him. You didn't even know until you came here that he used to lead the Knights of Saros, did you? If it weren't for him, you wouldn't be half the person you are now. You probably never even thought about how lucky you are. Oh, okay, this really bothers me. Listen up. I don't care if you're the teacher and I'm the student. I'm going to outshine you. I know you were some famous mercenary before you came here, but let me tell you something. I'm going to be better than you ever were. In fact, I'll surpass you in no time at all. So don't blink. You might miss it. It's finished. Now I see the heart of it. I think I get it now. Hmm, I see. Oh yeah, getting the hang of it.
have a th have you visit in jet but well we have a lot I still have much to learn. Unbelievable pardon intrigue. Okay. Yummy! Who made this? I'll have to give my compliments to the chef. This is my absolute favorite! How did you know, Professor? I did not expect much from the dining hall, but this does not disappoint. I like this dish. It was my father's favorite. Will this one do? Many thanks. Come back soon.
Professor. There are a lot of hardworking people here at the Academy, huh? Even Claude. He acts carefree, but secretly he's so serious. Everyone focuses on training without even needing to be told. Maybe they think, I must protect my friends, even if I have to risk my neck. Of course I'll try to protect them, but I don't understand why anyone would want to risk their life for someone else. When you die, no matter how you died, it's over. To me, it's more important to enjoy life. We only live once, after all. It's a waste to spend all your time working and being responsible, right? Well, no matter what people may think, I'm going to keep being me. So in our next battle, I'll support everyone from the sidelines. Aw, oh, come on, please! How about I do something for you as a way of saying thanks? Oh, I know! I'll let you join me for dinner in the city! Everyone would be jealous, you know? They'd all love to spend time with me. Okay, okay, just think on it. Good evening, Professor. Returning from work, I take it? My goodness! It's so late in the evening. That must be exhausting. Try not to overtax yourself, all right? I'm concerned for your health. We wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. The goddess won't smite you if you rely on others for help, you know. Listen here, Professor. You might not like what I'm about to say. To be perfectly honest, I had my doubts when I first met you. At first, I thought you seemed too young to be a professor. It is unusual, you have to admit. Yet, you seemed very composed and mature despite your age. You're strong-willed, encouraging, and you go to great lengths to ensure that everyone is cared for. But it almost feels like you're trying too hard to be a perfect role model for your students. If that's how you feel, then I can't disagree. But I think it's necessary to give yourself a break every now and again. The mind has a tendency to make mistakes when you've exhausted yourself. In my case, I still seem to make mistakes even when I'm wide awake. Oh, you know, I'm always mixing up the dates for drills or misplacing things. Just the other day, I forgot to put on my uniform and headed out to practice wearing only my... Oh, um, well, you can imagine how embarrassed I was. My mind can be so scattered sometimes. Anyway, where was I? Ah, that's right. What I'm trying to say is that you shouldn't push yourself too hard. If you do, you might end up in a pretty bad place. That reminds me, is there anything I can do to assist you, Professor? If it's all right with you, I'd like to help in any way I can. Whatever you need, just say the word. I look forward to helping you out. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I make you wait? I ran as fast as I could. Thanks. Tastes great.
you think? Right. Ah, I'm afraid I've stayed too long. Thanks for the tea. Let's plan to do this again sometime. to tread. The rite of rebirth is finally underway. Time to see if our hunch was right. Ugh, I hope it's not. Then we wouldn't have to fight anyone. We've all come to this conclusion together. I'm sure we've got it right. Right or wrong, the clock is ticking. All we can do for now is stick to the plan. You seem a mite too relaxed for my liking. The goddess's rite of rebirth is about to begin. While we are in the Goddess Tower, we are relying on you to secure the locations that are lacking in defense. May I let you in on something, Professor? My brother can be a bit... callous. He told me that he was concerned about you, and hinted that perhaps you would be better off patrolling a coffin. <laughs> that was said in jest, Flame, and in confidence. Please just remain by my side and do not cause any more trouble. As a professor, you would do well to remember that it is your duty to guide your students down the path of righteousness. Please excuse us, everyone. We shall see you again after the ceremony has concluded. Sedith is way too overprotective. He reminds me of my brother. Come on, Teach. I know a hidden spot where we can monitor the stairs that lead to the Holy Mausoleum. If there's anyone down there, they'll be trapped like the rats they are. We'll just have to take them down without getting bitten.
Our guess was spot on. Looks like we have company. And those Central Church dasters have spotted us. Buy me some time while I open the seal on the casket. I'm on it. Looks like the enemy is going after the casket in the back. Maybe they're going after the saint's bones? Weird. But I'd like to defeat them before they can finish the job. But did you notice? Look closely at the ground. There's some kind of contraption on certain parts of the floor. The smart move is to advance while finding the best fighting positions we can, based on the enemy's weaponry. I got this. Making my muscles proud. Let's get to it. I call that a win. Gotta keep improving. I get things done. I stand ready. strength and scatter these fools I don't take commands or waste my time on weaklings I'm getting a really disturbing vibe from that guy no one go near the evil looking knight okay
good at training. Takes care of that. Still far from my best. Delicate flower, you know. a good try.
train better. Your call. You can't compete with me. Bit uneasy. That helps. What is that? Appreciate that. Sorry, but victory is mine. I'm not done yet. haven't arrived hmm. if they approach from behind we can attack them from both sides
you underestimated me. My efforts are paying off. even harder next time. I can't believe I made it this far. Thank you. Was that helpful? Nobles must be strong. Ready and willing. Did the 
trick. to me. I stand ready. Ready any time. That helps. I got this. 
Appreciate it. Stay focused. Get to it. I got this. Ready anytime. That helps. Leave it to me. Thank you. Ready and willing. Stand ready. Stay focused.
I just worked harder. Aha! Uh -huh. I'm getting it! gotten stronger. Must all do our part. Last. Should I have held back?
Forgive me, everyone. My battle ends here. I told you that if you fled, I would... I stand ready. So nice of you. Who, me? Stay focused. Let's get to it. and willing. Ready anytime. Leave it to me. I got this. so much. That helps. Thank you. Appreciate that. Lazy. Magnificent. Nobles must be strong. Level 
Plenty more where that came from. A trivial victory. Thank you. That helps. I knew you had it in you. No hesitation. As expected. some bravery for the rest of us. That's the golden deer for you. Yeah, I've got this down. suits me well. is what I do.
You're too late. The seal will be broken any minute now. Stronger. It's no use. A seal is broken. You can't. Huh? A sword. sword is... I see. What a pleasant surprise. The jerk got away. Was that magic? We can't even chase after him. Hey, Professor, the way that sword is shining, do you think it could be... Is the intruder here? Oh, looks like you have this under control. You. Round up any stragglers. Will do. As all of you have committed a breach of faith, the Archbishop will now pass judgment. Inciting a kingdom noble to rebel. Unlawful entry. The attempted assassination of the Archbishop. An attack on the Holy Mausoleum. It is unnecessary to go on, followers of the Western Church. What? We have nothing to do with the Western Church. You have already been identified. Please spare us your second-rate theater. Dishonoring a holy ceremony is worthy of death for a member of the Church. You are well past the hope of redemption. If you have any grace remaining, you will willingly offer your life as atonement for this crime. No! This isn't what we were told would happen! We've been deceived! It's no use arguing. Whatever your excuse, the punishment stands. May your souls find peace as they return to the Goddess. Wait! Please! The Goddess would never forgive you for our execution! Monster! We know you've already slaughtered many of our fellow brethren like this. This concludes the investigation. Please remove these poor lost souls from my sight.
I suppose that's that. The assassination attempt, the attack on the Holy Mausoleum. Looks like it was all a plot by the Western Church. It's just too bad that that masked knight who was leading the attack got away. Vanished without a trace. But why would the Western Church want to attack Lady Rhea? Why? Take your pick of reasons. Relations with the Western Church aren't exactly friendly. Oh, that's right. Gerald mentioned that you grew up completely isolated from the church. The Church of Saros is split into a few different branches across Fodlan. The Central Church is headquartered right here at Garrick Mach. Then there's the Western Church. Far west from Castle Gaspar, where Lord Lanato had his little rebellion, is the fortress city of Arian Road. It's the strongest fortress in the kingdom. On the other side of it is the headquarters of the Western Church. Not too smart to bicker with people who worship the same goddess as you. The bishop of the Western Church must be pretty ambitious. Probably hopes to split off completely. In which case, he'd need to weaken the Central Church's influence. Killing Rhea is certainly one way to do that. To the shock of no one, I hear the knights have been sent to subdue the leaders of the Western Church. We'll probably get a chance to assist. You're an odd one, aren't you, Professor? How'd you make it this far in life without ever interacting with the church? I can't believe someone like you exists in Fodlin. It's too strange. If you think that's weird, consider the fact that Rhea hired Teach despite all that. So those guys they caught, they all got the axe, right? That's brutal. Lady Rhea can be rather intimidating at times. In fact, she can be downright terrifying. Professor, those who cannot be saved must be delivered to the goddess for judgment. Is that not so? There you are, Professor. It seems Lady Rhea would like a word with you. Come with me. The Archbishop lives. Not that I had ever placed much faith in those swine from the Western Church. I have news, both good and bad. The remains of Saros were not in a tomb. However, something else was. The Sword of the Creator. Ah, the weapon wielded by that thief, the King of Liberation. Thief? Huh. At any rate, it is now in the hands of the Academy's new professor. I doubt you will be surprised to hear that the Crest Stone had already been removed from the sword when it was found. Hmm. As expected. It would be foolish to keep both in the same location. There's more. The professor was able to awaken the sword's true power. Even without the Crest Stone, the sword glowed red. The Professor's crest is compatible. There is no mistaking it. Absurd. Using a relic without its crest stone should be impossible. The King of Liberation's bloodline should not even... Hmm. They must be allowed to keep it, for now. I do not have enough information about the Professor to act. As for your request, I assent. The Death Knight is at your command. Use him well. Good. I believe I will enjoy this a great deal. I cannot thank you enough for defeating those invaders in the Holy Mausoleum, and especially for protecting the Sword of the Creator. That sword is one of the hero's relics, and the most precious artifact in the Church's possession. It is also a weapon of terrifying power. For now, I will entrust the sword to you. Please, use it wisely. Lady Rhea, wait! Do you truly mean to give the sword of the Creator to this... stranger? Surely it is not the sort of thing one hands over so readily, even to someone who has the ability to wield it. If someone like Nemesis were to appear again, all of Vodlin would be consumed by war. Nemesis. The King of Liberation. He is an ancient king of mankind who was defeated by Seros over a thousand years ago. 
When Fodlan was attacked by wicked gods, it is said that the goddess gifted Nemesis with the Sword of the Creator. Nemesis used that sword to defeat the wicked gods, saving all of Fodlan. Henceforth, he was dubbed the King of Liberation. However, his power began to corrupt him until he himself turned to the darkness. Saint Seros was forced to destroy him. Lady Rhea, I beg you to reconsider. Given a little more time, we could more accurately assess this stranger's abilities. No. I have faith, Sereth. Faith that our friend here will not be corrupted by wickedness. Since the death of Nemesis, none have been able to wield the Sword of the Creator. Now, after all those long years of being sealed away, it has returned and found a new master. I understand. As you wish, Lady Rhea. There you have it, Professor. See that you do not betray the trust the Archbishop has seen fit to bestow upon you. The Sword of the Creator? The King of Liberation? Each tale is more confusing than the last. And I really can't read that Rhea at all. That sword is clearly precious. So why is she so keen to gift the thing to you? I feel as though we have become entangled in a mystery. And there is one more thing that has been plaguing me. The sword of the creator. It somehow feels distinct from other relics we have seen. Such as the one that... Oh, goodness, what was her name? Ka... Cat... Uh... What is wrong with that head of yours? Of course it's not a cat! Her name is Catherine. The sword of the creator differs from her Thunderbrand in one key way. It bears a hole where something should have been, but is no more. I despise not knowing what is going on. It... it frightens me. And yet, I place my trust in you. I must. Whatever comes to pass, please swear to cut a path that is your own. The Sword of the Creator, pulled right from the legends. I finally found it, and yet it ended up in Teach's hands. Could I even use it anyway? Ah, damn it. There's no telling what's to come. <laughs> 